Good morning from Istanbul. If you saw our previous video, you will know that we spent basically the past two days traveling via bus in order to get here, which included a lot of border crossings and very little sleep. So we have a relatively small itinerary for today, which will just consist of a walking tour that we're going to be embarking on in just a bit. But the cool thing is, because this is the only city that borders two different continents, then we're going to get to see both today. So that's really exciting. Yeah, we're going to get to leave Europe and go to Asia today. I know, it's going to be a first time for both of us. Well, no, not a first time for me in Asia. I've been to not. Japan and China. No, but definitely first a first time, time for, for me. So yeah, pretty pumped. I don't know how much energy we're going to have today. We kind of had a quick little refresh when we arrived here. We brushed our teeth. We had a little bit of coffee. Yep. But I think the only thing we have planned for today is that tour. But first, we need to get some Turkish lira out because we have zero cash on us. Yep. And I think we're going to try and find something traditional but cheap for breakfast. So stay tuned. Starting the day off with a Turkish delicacy that we've heard of through various different websites. This one is called Simit, and per piece it was 7 lira 50. And the exchange rate right now is that it's one Canadian dollar to 14 Turkish lira, so two of these is just over a dollar for us. So this bread is encrusted with sesame seeds, sometimes it's slightly sweetened, but apparently it's just amazing. So let's give it a go. Mm. It's like a beautiful marriage between a pretzel and a bagel. Absolute gold mine. We're about halfway through our walking tour, and so far we've done mostly Topkapi Palace on the European side, and now we're on the ferry headed towards the Asian side. My first view of Asia. How exciting. <laughs> just telling us that I don't know if it's Istanbul or Turkey has the most female commissioned buildings so this mosque as well as the two previous ones we saw were commissioned by either mothers or daughters of sultans.
place that was recommended by our tour guide as being one of the best places for Oriental Turkish cuisine. And we have consulted a few lists and we've been told that essentially there are a couple of varieties of what's referred to as Turkish pizza. And one of them is this one, it's called Pide. And we asked for the most traditional one and it was one which just comes with meat on it. So let's give it a go. As you can see, we hated it. Yeah, just discuss it. We are well and truly being spoiled as we were just gifted some traditional tea. We are absolutely exhausted and both need to sleep desperately. So we're headed back to our hotel and probably are not going to venture forth from there very much to bed. Good morning. After a really good night's sleep, we are feeling energized and so much better for the day ahead. Who knew that all it took was a good night's sleep and a shower and that's basically all we needed to feel so much better. We are starting our day with another walking tour. This time it's going to be of more of a European side and it's going to focus on Ottoman history. So we're pretty excited. So we just finished our walking tour, which was really, really interesting. Our guide, Alpa, really taught us a lot more about kind of the deeper history of this country. And also took us around a number of different monuments and buildings that we didn't cover in our last tour, including Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. And gave us a really, really deep history on all of that. So as far as that went, that was um, all fascinating. How'd you find it? Yeah, I really liked that it solidified some of the history that I found was missing yesterday. Like I now understand that Istanbul was ruled by the Greeks, the Romans, the Byzantines, and the Ottomans, and kind of how that all came together. So I really enjoyed myself actually. Also probably because we were way less tired, so it was great. That definitely also helps, yeah. I think, yeah. A bit of sunshine, a bit of extra coffee, and a bit of extra sleep definitely put some pep in our step today, so definitely feeling a lot better about it all. But for now, we met a really nice Australian couple, Mike and Steph, on our walking tour, and we're going to go hang out and explore with them this afternoon, so let's see what we get up to. Yeah, can't wait.
way home, we've and I've been looking at all of these stands that are selling fresh juice for absolutely ages. This is five lira and it's the cheapest that we've seen so far. So let's give it a try. Oh, that's the good stuff. What is five lira? Like 33 cents? Yep. Definitely less than 50 cents. Amazing value for this. Considering everything else we've seen, did you say was 15 lira for the Minimum same thing? Minimum 15 lira, yeah. So over a dollar. So incredible value for money here. We just got back to our hotel after what was a lovely afternoon with Mike and Steph. We ended up going to the Galata neighborhood and we learned that the Galata neighborhood was where all of the Christian people were banished to when the Ottomans took power, I believe. So we went and saw Galata Tower. It's, you have to say it, I don't know how to say it. Istiklal Street. And Taksim Square. It was really modern and it just had normal fashion shops like Mango and Sephora, um, hotels, and it kind of was like touristy food but probably not like really good local food so the company was great the area was okay yeah but we did also get to sample some more Turkish delicacies so when we went through the Egyptian bazaar then we got to try proper Turkish delight which is nothing like the Turkish delight that we would normally get abroad it was more like like a soft nougat and it was absolutely divine. I would happily eat that all day, but I can't eat the shit. The other thing that we ended up having, which I'm sure you saw, was we had our first dinner kebab as well. Definitely not quite the same as the sort of stuff that you get back home. Certainly less meat, and it seemed to be kind of in a roll with like sauce you also have fries in there and a couple of other bits so pickles which i love exactly so it was definitely not like the typical crab and chips that you get back home but certainly it was still really really good and did we try anything else no no other than that orange juice that you just saw which was still excellent and i don't think i've had orange juice like that since morocco and I think that's been about it. But and that, that was the best price too. It really was. Five lira. But I think that's going to be about it. So until the next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>